गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम बैक टुडे वीडियो नंबर सिक्सटी टू ऑफ सेम चैप्टर चैप्टर नंबर थर्टी इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी अबाउट न्यूक्लियर रिएक्शंस राइट वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन दैट द एलिमेंट विच इज हैविंग एटॉमिक मास लेस देन थर्टी दे आर लाइटर एलिमेंट्स एंड दे टेक्स पार्ट इन न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन रिएक्शन बट द एलिमेंट विच हैविंग एटॉमिक नंबर सॉरी एटॉमिक मास मोर देन वन सेवन डे दे टेक पार्ट इन न्यूक्लियर फीसन रिएक्शन सो देर इज अ माइनर difference between their pronunciation as well as in spelling also let us see first nuclear reaction that is known as nuclear fission reaction right in nuclear reaction let us take that fission reaction what is fission reaction let us understand this definition by using one figure okay here you have to take this heavy element which are the heavy element atomic mass more than 170 this heavy element is bombarded by neutron right and the neutron is uh, bombarded on that heavy element heavy element absorb the energy of neutron and become imbalanced unstable and after that it may split into two lighter nuclei so they are the lighter nuclei this reaction is known as fission reaction in fission reaction two or more neutrons are released during this fission reaction energy is also released and that energy is known as q value right so it is one more definition what is nuclear fission reaction so already this a this is the statement what is the statement let us say when heavy element is bombarded by neutron heavy element absorb the energy of neutron and become unstable then it may split into two lighter nuclei this is known as fission reaction and after fission reaction two or more neutrons are released right and the energy released during fission reaction is known as q value okay if it is asked in two marks question then you have to give one example let us say what is that example same definition we have to explain by using that example okay so let us see let us take heavy element that is uranium 92 235 that is uranium 92 its atomic number and 235 its atomic mass is bombarded by neutron right then this heavy element absorb the energy of neutron and become unstable that unstable element is uranium 92 plus 0 92 235 plus 1 that is 236 okay then this uranium 236 it is unstable so uranium 236 92 is uh, split into two lighter nuclei that is uh, it is bakker 
that is B A beryllium plus K R crater, right? And its atomic number is fifty six thirty six fifty six thirty six ninety two, and here one forty four, and K R that is eighty nine plus two or more neutron, but in this example three neutrons are released. And the energy is released is known as Q value. Clear? So it is very easy. Uh, this is a fission reaction. Simple. With the help of example, what to write? You have to explain this example. When heavy element uranium ninety two two thirty five is bombarded by neutron. Uranium ninety two two thirty five absorb the energy of neutron and become unstable. Uranium ninety two two thirty six. Then uranium ninety two two thirty six is divided, or you can say that it may split into two light nuclei. That is B A and K R. During this, three or three neutrons are released and energy is released is known as Q value. It's clear? Now, let us go further. Here we know that three neutrons are released. Out of these three neutron, if any one neutron bombard back, if any two uh, out of three, any one neutron is bombarded back to the parent nuclei then the fission reaction continue right so you can say that it is a chain reaction so now question will be changed explain chain reaction with the help of example so you have to make the same example you have to explain this same and after that what you have to write after one fission reaction three or more neutrons are released out of these three neutrons if any one neutron bombard back to the uranium 92 235 to continue fission reaction this is known as chain reaction but mind well it is not so simple Right? There are the problems and if there is a problem then solution must be there. So it is of now three or four more question. What is nuclear fission? Write down the definition. Explain with the help of example that example is there and give the problems as well as solution of fission reaction. Then you have to write the same example and then you have to explain the problems as well as its solution. Let us see problem number one. What is that problem number one? Okay, out of these three neuron, any one neuron is bombarded back to continue the chain reaction but it is not possible. Why? Because these neutrons are known as fast neutrons right and these fast neutrons having energy how much 2 mev each means tremendous amount of energy is released and this energy is in the form of neutron and each neutron consists of energy 2 mev they do not able to continue the chain reaction. Why? Because these fast neutrons having high energy, they do not bombard back to their parent nuclei. This is the problem number one. Right? So, this fast neutron, problem number one, right? That is, do not continue. Fission reaction 
got it then its solution so these fast neurons are allowed into the monitor got it so what is the use of monitor monitor is used to absorb energy of which neuron fast neuron got it and monitor for an example we are taking simple water that is h2o heavy water d2o graphite etc clear so problem and solution okay how to write what to write we will see afterwards when the monitor absorb the energy of fast neuron then monitor become hot so we have to cool down the monitor and this is the problem number 2 which problem that is monitor become hot so to cool down the monitor you have to use what coolant what is the use of coolant coolant is used to cool down the monitor clear so problem number 2 and its solution which coolant you can use for an example you can use that uh, various gases water etc got it so these are the problem number 1 and 2 and its solution okay then after that the neutrons are coming out from the monitor they are known as thermal neutrons right and these thermal neutrons are also known as the neutron having high energy they were known as fast neutrons but thermal neutrons are also known as slow neutrons and these slow neutrons having energy how much 0.04 mev and if these thermal neutrons bombard back to continue the chain reaction simple it's very easy isn't it so it's a time for screen sort because this time of uh, explanation is not there in our textbook so let's take screenshot and then after we will discuss it once again let us take screenshot please thank you again okay so question once again discuss the problems and the solution of nuclear fission reaction with the help of example right so no need to discuss up to this after this what to do once again let us see carefully after nuclear fission reaction three or more neutrons are released if one of the neutron bombard back to the parent nuclei it continue the fission reaction and there is known as chain reaction but the neutrons which are released after fission reaction they are known as fast neutron and each neutron consists of energy 2 mev because of that high energy they are not able to continue the fission reaction for that to absorb the energy of that fast neutrons we have to use monitor for an example 1 2 3 are there 
the monitor absorb the energy of fast cool current because of that reason monitor become hot and to cool down the monitor we have to use the cooler for an example gases and water after coming out from the monitor the neutrons which are known as slow neutrons or thermal neutrons they having less energy how much 0.04 mev and they are able to continue chain reaction right this thermal neutron bombard back to the parent nuclei to continue the fission reaction clear so you have to make that identification this is the problem number 1 and its solution is monitor monitor become hot problem number 2 and its solution is cooler okay have a look for few seconds please got it let us see after this there is again very nice uh, theory which can be asked as a uh, two mark question got it what is that question uh, it is there in our textbook on page number uh, 454 right and the topic's name is nuclear reactor so what is nuclear reactor nuclear reactor it is a device in which nuclear fission as well as nuclear fusion reactions takes place so then uranium 235 92 we have to take in the nuclear reactor and that undergoes in a fission reaction right so these are the radioactive elements which are very sensitive so we have to use a special type of device and that device name is nuclear reactor right so use of nuclear reactor is to study the nuclear fission as well as nuclear fusion reaction said nuclear reactor is used to generate electricity and third third use is nuclear reactor is used to prepare artificial radioactive substances so the three use if you can't remember then forward the video for a few seconds and listen it carefully okay nuclear reactor the core part of nuclear reactor is here got it so this is the core part in this core part the fission reaction takes place so for that we have taken what we have taken uranium 235 92 here there is bombardment of neutron right uh, if the neutrons are released energy increases temperature become hot so there comes monitor monitor absorb the energy of neutron and it become hot then what to use to make the monitor cool we have to use that water from where you have to pass water let us say okay so it is a very simple phenomenon and if you will see in our textbook on page number 454 same is here from here you have to enter water that water is allowed to pass in the core region so here there is a water which work as a coolant after passing from the core water is converted into steam so here there is a steam or you can say that water vapor 
get water vapor or steam they are collected in a steam chamber right so they are collected in a steam chamber and when proper pressure is produced this water vapor is allowed to steam engine and this steam engine is connected to the motor and uh, through this motor electric current or you can say that electricity is generated simple okay once again as shown in schematic diagram of nuclear reactor water as a cooler is allowed to pass into the core region in a core region all the nuclear reactions takes place for an example after nuclear fission reaction three or more neutrons are released which produce high energy because of this reason the temperature of core region increases and to cool down the moderator coolants are used for an example water when water is passed through the core region it cools the moderator and the water is converted into steam or water vapor this steam is collected in that steam turbine and from there it is applied to the steam engine steam engine is connected to the motor and motor produce electricity so this is the second use as we have discussed earlier clear and there is a steam condenser right so after generating electricity that condenser condenses the steam and again it is converted into water and this water same water is allowed to flow into the core region clear so this is about nuclear reactor is it so nuclear if nuclear reactor is asked it is a two mark or three mark short mark first you have to write the use then draw the schematic schemat diagram and explain this schematic diagram clear so it's very easy but if you will see in your textbook something is missing what is missing find out for few seconds please got it no yes no here there are three roads these three roads are known as control roads naam mein hi dum hai means it is something which controls something what is that something let us see these control roads are made up of cadmium got it what is the use of that control roads let us say before that we have to define one definition and the definition is multiplication factor okay got it what is multiplication factor it is having symbol capital k and it having definition let us see the definition in terms of equation multiplication factor is a ratio of number of neutrons released to the number of neutrons absorbed released after nuclear fission and absorbed by the moderator clear here the number of neutrons number of neutrons so number number having no unit 
no dimension formula. So you can say that multiplication factor are dimensionless as well as unitless quantity. Clear? There is one condition k is equal to 1. Alright? This condition is known as critical state. If there is k is equal to 1, so you can say that nuclear reactor is in a critical stage. It means in critical stage fission reaction continuous. Got it? Means the chain reaction will proceed. The nuclear reaction, the fission reaction may continue under this condition only. K is equal to 1. That is the critical condition or you can say that critical stage of nuclear reactor. K is equal to 1. It means number of neuron release are same as number of neutrons absorbed by the neutron. But sometimes it do not happen. Suppose there is one condition if k is more than 1 if k is more than 1 so in this value upper side means numerator will increase number of neutrons release are increase and because of this reason the temperature of core region increases and this condition is known as super critical stage. Check it out. Nuclear reactor works at this condition but now condition change. So obviously fission reaction will not continue. Fission reaction will stop. Right? So in this circumstances the function of control rods comes. If number of neutron releases, that control rods are going inside. Okay? So, control rods. In. Means, control rods enter into the core region and it absorbs absorb the number of neutron release. How much neutrons are released? when it becomes k is equal to 1. So, control rods are going inside the core region until k is equal to 1. If there is k is equal to 1, so now critical stage will come back and nuclear fission reaction continue. There is a vice versa also. If K is less than 1. Less than 1 means this denominator term increases. Denominator term increases means number of neutrons absorbed increases. If number of neutrons absorbed increases, then temperature become low. That means temperature decreases and this stage is known as subcritical stage. Or you can say that number of neutron release are decreases. It means the control rods have absorbed excess neutrons. So in this condition, the control rod may come out. Right? So in this condition, control rules out till k is equal to 1. Right? So, this is the function of control rules. Means, control rules control. What it control? It control the critical stage of the reactor. Why? Because in critical stage only, 
the nuclear reactor works. If the value of K exceeds that one, it means the number of neutrons increases, temperature of core region increases, and to absorb the excess neutrons, control rods may go inside into the core region. It remains inside until K is equal to 1 and then it comes out. Second condition, K is less than 1 means number of neutrons absorbed increases. So number of neutron release are less. If neutrons are less, then temperature decreases and this stage is known as subcritical stage. Right? Okay? So because of that reason, so the whatever the control rules are going inside, you have to take it out. It remains out until k is equal to 1. If k is equal to 1, then we know that it is a critical condition and in this critical stage, the fission reaction continues. So this is about multiplication factor and its cases. Sometimes it can be asked as a two mark question in a different way. Multiplication factor, okay, its definition, what is k is equal to 1, critical stage, k is more than 1, k is less than 1 and this k is unitless as well as dimension less. Right? So, this topic generally it is for one mark question, but it depends on my examiner. If it is asked in two mark question, then you have to explain k is equal to one, first, second, and third. And this is the thing but function of control rules in nuclear reactor. Okay? So, this is end of this video number 62. Have a look.